and it's always great to see you as Caesar. But uh, I mean, Matt always had a trilogy in mind with Rise, Dawn, and now War, and the, the trilogy kind of has now come to its completion. Is that a happy day for you or a sad day? Um, well, without giving too much away, yes. um, I, I, you know, it's I have had great, a great time playing these characters, or playing this character over these films. You know, it's been an extraordinary journey, and I, I, I really, I really have loved every minute of it. You know, first of all, starting with Rupert Wyatt on Rise, um, and I'll never forget them. You know, reading the script for Rise for the first time, and just thinking, what an extraordinary page turner! What you know, what an amazing character! And it also happened to be an ape. It was just too good to be true. And then working with with Matt on 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 Dawn and then Rise, he's taken the the he he fell in love with. I mean, he was always a big fan of the franchise anyway, but he fell in love with with um, the character of Caesar from Rise, and and wanted to to. Um, Take that experience further, mm. and take the audience on a journey um, as and with Caesar as their guide, if you like, mm -hmm. um, on, 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 on in the following films. So, so I'll, um, I, I've had such a brilliant time playing this character, an amazing time. This isn't your first time doing performance uh, capture, but what makes Caesar so special and different from the others? I think, you know, it's very rare that an actor gets an opportunity to play a character all the way through its li its life you know mm -hmm. um from 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 infancy through to mature adulthood it's really it, it just doesn't happen i can't think of another character on on screen that it's happened to um you know something like harry potter or or, or where where uh, daniel radcliffe and mm -hmm. the gang you know they they go from being young to to into t to teenage but this is this is concertinaed over you know the evolution of the character plus a character that's changing physically and changing emotionally and changing linguistically it's it's just for for all those reasons it's been uh, very very special mm -hmm. along those lines with the changes you know from chimpanzee almost like to men do you sometimes feel caesar isn't really a emotional ape but he's actually a hairy human <laughs> well in a way uh, that's the way I approached him at the beginning you know because he is an outsider character mm -hmm. so so when he was um, uh, when he was brought up by human beings I, 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 I always thought of him as, uh, as someone as an ape that believed himself to be human mm -hmm. you know because that was what he was taught and it's it's it just it would be very natural that he would think well I'm a human being and and it's only in his teenage when he's he becomes uh, you know throw, when he's thrown into the ape facility in Rise that he sees himself as some as as other now that, that, and he can't connect with his own kind so that 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 um, that, that, uh, that is very much how I approached him mm -hmm. and of course I can't be with you and not talk about performance capture as the art form uh, it used to be something rarely used but now it has become very common in movies mm. how do you see the future what will the five years from now what will we see how will movie making look like well i think i think there's a great um, appetite now for mm. um, immersive I experiences in film clearly with 3d and then and now with virtual reality in video games and so on and so forth and i i think one of the things we're working on at, at the imaginarium is trying to foresee what will what will the shared experience be like in in 10 years time um, what will what will it how will it manifest itself will it be partially theater partially theater cinema you know uh, partially video game immersive storytelling um, w where is it going and and really the thing that binds all of those things is is performance capture because of the of the nature of actors being able to to play extraordinary avatars mm -hmm. and and exist in um, but virtual worlds but also with augmented reality for instance you know in in both worlds at the same time Mixed reality. Can't wait. Let's have future tomorrow, Come right? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.